venues and theaters have been amongst the hardest hit during the pandemic. Because of mandates prohibiting public gatherings, music venues have been forced to shut their doors, some of them for good. NEVA, the National Independent Venue Association, has been hard at work in helping venues all around the country survive during COVID-19. We spoke with NEVA co-founder and owner of Philadelphia's World Cafe Live, Hal Leach, about NEVA's mission and how it was quickly formed to combat this widespread crisis. And we said, okay, this summer, after Independent Venue Week is behind you, we'll convene, we'll invite a couple dozen people to Philly to be a steering committee. And hopefully, you know, a dozen or more will show up and we'll all brainstorm about how we can put together some sort of a coalition right. or a trade association for independent venues. That was February 25th, I believe. Mm -hmm. Three weeks later, we all shut down. For wow. COVID. And a week after that, what was going to be a summertime fun little steering committee meeting in Philly to talk about what to do. There were about 20 of us on a conference call. It wasn't a Zoom. It was a good old fashioned conference call, <laughs> March. Zoom wasn't in our vocabulary, believe it or not. And um, we all said, you know, holy shit, we got to do something right now. Yeah. And so that was the beginning of NEVA. Um, and of course, what I had envisioned was, oh, you know, working on diversity, equity, and inclusion, and, mm -hmm. and working on buying insurance together, and working on how we can do things for our staff together. I would never envisioned what we're going to have to do is lobby Congress to right. save our butts. Right. But very quickly, we realized that we were all shut down, and we didn't have a collective voice, and we either had to stand up or we were going to be shut down for a long time. It was then that Neva quickly sprung into action to lobby for emergency relief for music venues by engaging members of Congress around the country. We want you to know independent venues are a really important sector in your state. Mm -hmm. There's this many of them. It's this kind of economic impact. There's this many employees and we are shut down and we need your attention. And then uh, the PPP Act was passed and we said, that's great for businesses that can be partly open but we're not going to hire people back for jobs that don't exist. This is stupid. We need real help. We need help paying rent. We need help paying insurance. We still get all these costs. Mm -hmm. And so a couple of senators sponsored the uh, what was called the Restart Act. Okay. And we got behind the Restart Act. And the Restart Act was better for the PPP, better for us than PPP. More money could be used for more things and more forgiveness. It wasn't perfect, but our Lobbyists said, you're too small to have your own bill. Just get behind the Restart Act and help mm -hmm. you know, get more support from both sides of the aisle, in both out the House and the Senate, and that's your best bet and try and influence the things that are in there. It was then that two senators, one Republican and one Democrat, came together to lend Neva a hand in developing the bipartisan Save Our Stages Act bill. We got a phone call. We got a phone call from very Republican, conservative Senator Cornyn from Texas. Wow. Texas has a lot of live music mm -hmm. from square dances to rock and roll to soul to everything in between. Yeah. And Senator Cornyn said, listen, I get it. And I want to start an act for Save Our Stages. I want to write an act just for your industry. So we went back to her and he said, and by the way, Amy Klobuchar will be, I'll be the lead co-sponsor for the Republicans. She'll be the lead for the Democrats. Okay. I've already talked to her. What do you guys think of this? So we called our lobbying firm and said, well, you told us not to do this. Mm -hmm. But we just got this call from a senator saying, let's right. do a Save Our Stages Act. And the lobbyist said, oh, well, yeah, when a US senator calls you and tells you they want to write a piece of legislation for you, then you say, thank you very much, ma'am and sir. How <laughs> can we be a yeah. So you go. that's what gave birth to the Save Our Stages Act. While it has been uplifting to witness politicians from around the country see the value in preserving local live music, in Philadelphia, when it comes to the arts, many feel that there's much that remains to be seen. Earlier this year, Mayor Kenny received much backlash for his proposal to completely eliminate the city's arts and culture department by depleting its budget to zero. Having to make a cut in that department and all these other departments we all could get. But the message you send when you say, no, we're cutting it out to zero, zero. Is, is the arts just don't matter. Yeah. And 
anybody, I'm sorry, anybody who's got a heart, and most people who've got a brain know the arts really matter. So let's start with the heart and the spirit. What are we without the arts? In mid-October, Neva joined with YouTube for the Save Our Stages Fest, which raised nearly $2 million for indie concert venues. This three-day virtual music festival included performances by Alicia Keys, Miley Cyrus, John Legend, Foo Fighters, Cautious Clay, The Roots, and many more. We partnered with Google and YouTube to do the Save Our Stages Festival. It was three days. It was the largest virtual festival that's been done to date. We've raised about $3 million all told uh, from that. And that's terrific. We have a grant program so that uh, the, the most needy of our 3,000 members um, applied for grants. There'll be $25,000 each. We're thrilled that we'll be able to do those. But I got to tell you, even if we raise $10 million, which is our goal ultimately, that only is going to help 400 venues mm. with $25,000 each. Yeah. It, it's, it's better than nothing. And we're working our butts off and we're very proud of it. But this is something that needs government help. For the Save Our Stages virtual concert, YouTube picked 25 iconic venues around the country, including Philly's World Cafe Live and Harlem's legendary Apollo Theater. Uh, in closing, what is it that you would want people to know about NEBA? How can people help? What needs to be yeah. done by the general public? How can, how can we help NEBA? The, the best thing people can do right now is go to saveourstages.com and there's a very easy way for you to reach out to your Congress people and tell them, pass the Save Our Stages Act. If you go to saveourstages.com and you'll see a big green thing that says, contact your legislator. I mean, it's so amazing. You put your zip code in and it gives you the letter to use, the form to send, and you just push the button and off it goes to your senators and to your reps. And uh, if you do the same for your state, a little more work, but if you do the same with your state reps and your state senators, we, we'd be thrilled. That's the most important thing you can do. And if you wanna donate money, you can go to worldcafelive.com to donate to the venue or whatever your favorite venue is. I mean, South and everybody's got their own, you know, fundraiser going on, or you can go to the Neva site, Neva. And I